Brad McGee, congratulations firstly. You're in a very unique position. You're Australian, but you're actually a director sportive for Andy Schleck, the new yellow jersey of the Tour de France. Of course, it was taken over from Cadell Evans, who is an Australian. So mixed feelings, or you're just a full professional, and it's all about Andy? Oh, look, um, I'm an Aussie for sure, and, and that's, that's, that's guaranteed. But in a position like that today, it's full focus for the team, full focus on Andy. Um, yeah, you have a pass the eye for, for Cadell when you go past in the car your, your heart goes out to him especially he is an Aussie but at the end of the day we are ecstatic that we've got the yellow jersey and, and put Andy where he is. Well look, I've been mentioning it a few times now very unfortunate that Frank and his brother crashed out earlier in the tour and he was going to be a contender himself it's a long way to Paris now how are you guys going to feel or fare without uh, brother Frank on the road? I don't think it's a question of Frankie um, it just changes things now we're in the yellow jersey quite early uh, there's a lot of work to be done. Um, like the, you said it yourself, Frankie was more a chance himself overall than just a, a workhorse for Andy. So that was like one card just taken out of the out of the um, out of the bags. So uh, I think now everyone's just going to have a have a little uh, you know, group hug after what's happened today because they already put in a big effort, taking a big uh, breath of fresh air and look forward to the next bit <laughs> when was the uh, I guess the tactics and the attack of Andy discussed okay. was it a dinner last night or a meeting this morning the Col de Madeleine it's a brutally tough climb and it is as you said a very long way to Paris but to attack this early and, and try and get an advantage it makes it a, a very a tough job for the entire team now to take it all the way through to Paris so when did you talk about those tactics yeah it sort of evolved over what he did the other day winning the stage um, sh- seeing that he was on incredible form um, and, and seize the moment really and it wasn't like we're going to attack at this this, this given kilometre. Um, it was a bit of a wait and see moment. Use some of our guys early to push the pace, uh, and you just sort of see you know what's going on out there. And um, in the end, it sort of just went by itself. It wasn't such a force of Andy or Contador. It was the other guys just didn't have it, uh, and that's just a sign of where they are at the moment. But it's still two weeks to go, so things can change, and you just got to take those um, those seconds or minutes when you can get them. What's the feeling now between amongst the team in regards to the time trial? I know there's a lot of mountains still to come, but do you feel that you need a, a certain advantage or do you need an advantage at all over Contador going into the time trial? And he is getting older and stronger every year, of course. Yeah, I, it's not something that occupies our minds too much. Uh, Andy's slowly bringing the focus in. Um, he's showing some interest in the technical side of time trialling, which is good. <laughs> Hasn't really existed in the past. Um, and I think... Given what we've got to go through between now and, and, and that time trial, it's, it's going to be more and more in, in his favour to improve his time trial against C- Contador. Uh, the start of the tour, you, you could give him you know, a couple of minutes, but that's just going to come in by the sheer um, physical demands of the next two weeks. And then why not if Andy's um, improving and keeps going on what he is, he might grab a few more seconds before then. I think it's going to be uh, very interesting. It's done a done deal by any means uh, which way this race is going to go. Now, finally, get, take your professional hat off and talk as an Aussie. Do you think uh, we can see some more from Cadell in this tour? Can he try and go for a stage win or something? What do, what do you think? Ah, look, most of us have followed Cadell. We know he's, he's got that uh, spirit inside him. And uh, he'll, he'll, you know, he's suffered today, obviously. Mentally, he's, he's going to finish distraught. But he'll pick himself up. There's time enough. There's some stages out there that he can just sit back and go, right, I'm just going to show you who I am. And I'm sure he'll do it, no problem.